Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, today with me is uh, Mansi. Uh, Mansi has worked and understood the energy healing. She has studied energy healings Reiki with me, and she has been implementing this whole system of the energy healings and learnings in her personal and professional life. So today we will be talking to Mansi to understand about her journey and how all of this has really transformed her journey and how it is. So hi, Mansi, welcome to our talk out here today. Hi, Poonam. Thank you for having me here. First of all, it's it's like a great honor. It's really a pleasure to have you too here, Mansi. So, uh, Mansi. Can you tell us something about yourself? What are you doing? Yeah, I, I'm Mansi Jevkar. Right now, uh, I'm in Bangalore. I am a graphologist. And I've been practicing this on and off from last four or five years. Mm -hmm. But I could not get it uh, ahead with in a very structured or, you know, in a directed manner. Which I've just now started with your help, with Poonam Jain's help. Around uh, one or two weeks back, I've just started it with my own page and everything. So uh, getting ahead with this only with your guidance, I, of course. Wow, professionally, professionally I'm, I'm a lawyer actually, but jumped hmm. into this. Yeah, I have a CS law. So wow. uh, jumped into graphology uh, around four year, four or five years back. Mm -hmm. But now I have got that direction <laughs> to actually take it forward. Wow, that's so nice, Mansi. Like uh, a CS lawyer turned graphologist. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's so so nice. And uh, I can see that uh, energies of uh, how things are really working out for you. Uh, so, so Mansi, I would just like to also understand, and you can tell our uh, viewers and audience uh, who would be listening to you about how was your life, your journey before you started with energy healings and Reiki implementation uh, life was definitely messed up mm -hmm. it was all going downhill uh, to the point that actually everything stopped where as i had mentioned that i had to go through a surgery and all it was like a point where i couldn't see anything after that point so i was all confused directionless i did not know how to stand up back in life so that's when that's when i thought of you intuitively i don't know why but i just thought about you that i should contact you for at this moment so it was all in a very bad shape as bad as it could get in in anyone's life hmm. so so it had been a little difficult you had to undergo a surgery and take care of your health yeah and many other issues actually like it mm -hmm. was just a uh, chain of events that take place which mm -hmm. finally you know everything bursts out and it's like a volcano it just erupts finally mm -hmm. and then there is a new beginning you can say so mm -hmm. that way it was had i not approached you i don't think so till today uh anything constructive could have happened but it was the end of everything at that point end of everything in life okay i i understand your situation mansi that it had been a little difficult to just go correct. through a lot of ups and downs happening within your life. Correct, so correct. That's, that's how it had been. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mansi, like uh, you mentioned that there were a lot of ups and downs and things happening. Mm -hmm. You also had health, uh, health issues uh, that you yeah. had to undergo through a surgery and recover from that. So, apart correct. from energy healing or Reiki, were there any other techniques or tools that you have implemented to start coming out of it uh no it was just the reiki just mm -hmm. whatever as you always say i followed it i just followed you with uh, with blindly mm -hmm. with nothing like the empty canvas that's it whatever you said whatever you did i just followed it i made the necessary changes whatever you had suggested mm -hmm. and uh, things were difficult at that time also as I as I told you that it's only me and Krishvi living right now with my husband traveling extensively mm -hmm. so on after ring everything seemed to be impossible because she's just three year old 
so managing her managing the house and managing these things seemed very difficult at first but after getting to know you after this reiki healings and all started things started be falling in place automatically that automatically things start take, taking care of or something happened that i could get time to you know actually attend your lectures and all so it was mm-hmm. basically just reiki nothing else it was just okay. you and your teachings that's it okay good good to know that uh, manse that uh, the energy healings the reiki tools and techniques have helped you to start shifting and also helping you to balance and manage uh, your professional life and also your uh, personal life uh, along yeah. with your 3 year old daughter that's right. that's really nice good to know yeah. that that things have started shifting towards your yeah. side so uh, another thing uh, i want to just understand uh, and it would definitely help probably our audience to also know uh, that how did you decide like you want to learn reiki from uh, say me or from punam and not this so what how did how was the process for you about choosing a reiki master uh, for yourself actually uh, i had been knowing you from a long time and mm-hmm. before, uh, before like two three years back i i known about you and uh, reiki itself i know about it from last like 15 to 20 years that this mm-hmm. something exists as reiki i always wanted to do it but never found out time to uh, dedicated to it or i never thought that this could be uh, also a thing that i can enter into and all because of the professional commitments and the mainstream studies and all but uh, after whatever happened in my life it was i don't know why but as you said when the when you are ready the guru appears mm-hmm. so that was the case that i decided to start taking healings from you and uh, instead of just coming to you and uh, you giving me healings i thought of you know actually learning it for myself uh, so that whenever wherever i can apply it and mm-hmm. you know heal, heal me and i should also know about the uh, techniques and how to go about things and all that's why i approached you for uh, teaching me reiki how it is done and all so that time that's why i chose not to tell you much about myself and what i'm going through and i thought that once things are in place i'll discuss things with you how it went or not great great that's uh, that's so nice man so that you thought of that you need to like kind of get self sufficient for yourself so that you can learn the techniques by yourself and implement it in your personal professional life and also in your day to day life so i think that's one of the important things that i would really tell the listeners also that it's it's like that you instead of feeding or giving the common saying which is there that you instead of giving the fish to a person you tell them how to learn fishing yeah. so it's like instead of just going and getting the treatments but you're also yeah. working towards understanding how you can heal yourself because you're able to utilize it in every moment and every part of your life that's correct correct really nice mansi yeah because that helped me a lot in getting out of my comfort zone every day was a challenge and every challenge i faced or every challenge i overcame that i did a new perspective to my personality altogether so it was a very good experience you can say or a very uh, fulfilling experience i myself i'm content with me today there is no chaos in my head today wow a very powerful word that you have used mansi i am content with myself and yeah. there is no chaos so you have started yeah. getting the clarity of how things yeah. start working in your life after you have started implementing yeah. the learnings of reiki and mm-hmm. energy healings yeah so so it's how long you have now been practicing the reiki sessions i've been two months okay now for two months yeah okay so so in these two months uh, could you share with our viewers and listeners about how has your journey been what it was before and after learning so how did this two months really go for you two months were uh, very good actually and i can tell you one thing that if you're dedicated if you are if you like just want to do it mm-hmm. that i have to do it want to do it and then you you stop giving excuses all together because if it is because if it is on your life that life and death question mm-hmm. is there then it it automatically happens you can say 
एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑलवेज फील दैट पीपल शुड नॉट कीप एनी एनिमेशन इससे क्या होगा उससे क्या होगा एंड ऑल दीपल रीजनिंग ओन हेड दैट मुझे सब आता है टाइप्स so mm-hmm. you don't have those all layers na things start working for you actually because you are in a spot where you you are not uh, eligible enough to argue see if i have to argue with you or i have to challenge you punam i have to have something backing like i have to right. have force in my hand to you know actually uh, challenge your theory like mm-hmm. this does not work punam if i have to give this statement i have to be uh, scholar enough to actually you know raise a question so if you're not that way just keep quiet and start following whatever is said done and it will start showing effects right from the first the day you attend the session it starts showing you the results it is not that you have to practice extensively for 5 years 6 years then little little it will show but it as it depends on your teachings it all i always feel that it depends on you also how you're taking it and how are you implementing it in your day to day life as i said the challenges are many as i many challenges come up even when you say sometimes that today is a session at 9 o'clock or 11 mm-hmm. o'clock is the session sometimes it is like in 10 30 quarter to 11 i'm not sure whether i attend it or not but some some things happen and things get sorted out you should have that intention you should have that power that i want to do it that's it the road will appear things will get sorted and i was not so confident earlier i was not that sorted earlier mm-hmm. but but in these two months i have seen a major change in me mm-hmm. and uh, as i always feel that uh, it is always me versus me it's not a, a me versus some other person who is earning lakh or 2 lakh month per month right now at my age and i'm not earning that much it's not like that the success mm-hmm. i have seen in these two months from where i started is tremendous tremendous oh i can't yeah and quantify it in words or put it in words right now but it's tremendous it it helps it helps a lot i can say just you should have your heart and soul in it that's it great great those are so powerful things uh, manse that uh, a few things which i could really uh, catch for the audience to also go back and look at is being persistent having that faith in the system that you follow it and you get the results and that intention that yes i am ready to practice the learnings the way it has been given to me at least give that uh, try to implement the way yeah. it is to so see the Correct. results correct that's that's really nice nice to uh, hear these things because i think these are very powerful things which have really helped you mansi yeah. to start moving and shifting to the direction that you are looking for correct yes yeah. good so uh, mansi like as you have been practicing now for these two months and you've seen good results coming in like energies have started shifting for you to move into the direction yeah. to find your passion and take it forward yeah. so what is that one or two things that you really liked about the trainings the best part is the way you explain things with mm-hmm. very patience and with very clarity and simple it down it's nothing like kya ho raha hai pata nahi chal raha hai or too many things at one go it's mm-hmm. broken down into a very simple way and you are at pace with all the people it's not that you are just running and other people pata nahi ko samajh rahe nahi samajh rahe Mm-hmm. there is no disconnect between you and us it is you know that your you know your audience you know your people who you are constantly in touch with them even through the trainings so it is i know there's a topic you have to cover it in two hours but you get it covered along with the people so if you are moving from chapter 1 to chapter 2 the people also have moved from chapter 1 to chapter 2 so that's the best part about you you are very calm you're not in very Haste to like complete mm-hmm. करना है बस पैसे भी है complete कर रहा है उनको देना है that's not the thing with you that's the most beautiful thing I guess about you that you, you. understand your students you mm-hmm. are with them and uh, they don't get stressed they are they can be themselves with you oh. so more of a friendly mm-hmm. thing and then a more of a professional thing in between you and the student. great thanks mansi for that and i'm really happy to know that you can be yourself and take things the way yeah. you would want to 
because uh, being comfortable and learning and understanding and about that being able to implement those learnings into your day to day life is really one of the objectives with which uh, i would really want my students to work it because correct after all results are certain things which will really matter for you correct. and second i want to mention that you don't leave the students half way mm-hmm. like khatam ho gaya training so who we who you know so it's like you will take them to that goal which they want so or after the trainings before the trainings even through the trainings you are always there with them to guide them always to show them that this is the right thing wrong thing with the doubts or whatever it's there you are there all you are just it's a, a message away or a call away and you do attend the calls and you do attend the messages it's not just keep you put in the number and i'm not getting replies for like one or two days or weeks together i'm not mm-hmm. getting replies it's not that way so the student automatically you know gets connected to you and uh, feels positive there's a positive healthy relationship that is built actually between you and us great thanks thanks mansi for sharing and i'm really so happy to hear that uh, these are the set of feelings and thoughts that really come to you while you are connected uh, with me on this journey of things and absolutely right to and uh, even to the listeners and audience uh, this is absolutely there that when i would put in my 100% i am also expecting your 100% and that's what mm-hmm. mansi is also giving her 100% in implementing things taking things forward uh, which is really helping her to come to the journey and to the path that that she is uh, really looking looking forward for great great so uh, mansi i understand that you mentioned that you moved from being a uh, see a lawyer to a graphologist mm-hmm. so how did uh, these things like the reiki energies and the reiki practices have helped you to get more into your graphology so if you can tell me something about yeah, basically, the graphology part of the things as well yeah basically what happened is i i always wanted to take this business ahead but before meeting you i had no direction what to do how to do how to manage things or how things would uh, be aligned so after meeting you as you suggested that day that uh, start launch your own page so i launched my page uh, there i had no confidence that kaise hoga like i am in a new city i don't know how to approach people how to do it but so much confidence i had if pune mai said it let's do it let's start my own page i don't know what will happen how will happen but i had launched my own page on 12th april i sent a link on the same day Yes. so i launched the page and it was a new level of confidence again like kuch to ho hi jayega i started approaching people mm-hmm. uh basically it's like a ice breaker it is coming out of your own that kapu like mm-hmm. that all the doubts you have in your are only in your head so i started doing that approaching people telling them that i am a graphologist you can you know share your handwriting samples this is what has to be do, done and all so that helped and the best part was within two weeks i got one client a very successful oh. happy client and i earned my first 1000 rupees that was like best thing wow awesome congratulations for that month so that so within two months you have implemented and within two weeks you are able to yeah. see these successes coming your way really yeah. nice correct Great, great, great. So, uh, Mansi, can you just tell something more about uh, the graphology work that you're doing, so that the audience and the listeners, if they would want to understand what graphology is, and if they want to get in more about it, so if you can briefly explain about graphology and how people can connect to you. Uh, so, graphology is a, a breaking down of two Greek words: graph, that is the writing, and ology is the uh, study, study of your writing. the analysis of your writing so in graphology we go through the detailed personality the character the hidden traits of a personality of a person because upar upar se everyone seems to be very happy good mm-hmm. and all but there are many layers to a person uh deep down there are many fears layers the stresses that you don't show generally to the world and sometimes you also don't know that they are there they, they are that these things also exist within you you don't know mm-hmm. so that is uncovered in graphology so there is a very very detailed study of a person 
of his present situations, the present blockages he's uh, facing, or the uh, present stresses he's going through, or or his positive traits. Sometimes you don't know how good you are also. Like the negative things, the positive things, actually I can say people know about the negatives and they sometimes don't look at the positives they have. That's true. Yeah, so that uh, graphology also highlights on all the positive features that you have and it uncovers them. And what graphology does not do is it does not reveal your future. It will just mm -hmm. tell you at present moment what are your plus and minuses and what you need to change. Where are the blockages? Where are the uh, strengths which you can work on? And mm -hmm. so if you change your present or you are more uh, concentrated to your present, your future will automatically change. That's true. Yeah, so that's it. So, and your gender and all this is not uh, revealed in graphology. Gra and I always feel like during marriage, like you and you go to the astrologer, match your mm -hmm. kundalini and all. I feel you should always do a graphological reading also of a person. Mm -hmm. Because in that you understand your spouse well, in, a, in depth. You are, you are not, you know his personality right from day one. His strengths, his weaknesses, his current situation in life. So all that you understand at one go. So I, because people until now don't know much about graphology. Mm -hmm. They don't know about the science. It's the science. It's your brain writing. Many people come to me and they say that uh, every time I write, my handwriting is different. But that is not the case. You, uh, your basic strokes, your basic slants remain the same. Even though okay. you change how many pens you want. Because... Uh, Basic rule is you cannot get out of your own skin. Mm -hmm. It is, it is uh, what is imprinted on the paper is what is going on within your head and your brain in psychological uh, this. In your psychological world, what is going on that comes on the paper. So that I don't, so you can write down anything. Anything you mm -hmm. want, you just write. I'm not concerned with what you have written and all. It's just your slants, your, uh, the way you have written your letters, uh, the, uh, the flow of the writing, that's it. That's important. That's it. So basically, yeah, it's all about a person and his all layers, his shades, that all come out. Uh, when you you have a graphological report in your hand. It's a very long report, detailed report that I give along with the graphotherapy, what all things you need to change and where all you need to change. So that all goes in graphology. So I always recommend people should do it once, once at least to know yourself better. Wow, this is really awesome, Anse. And I'm really excited about it more because uh, I like the key thing that you mentioned, which I also follow and focus is uh, focus on your present to change your future. Correct. Correct. If you're able to work on focusing on your present to change your future, you can definitely do that. And of course, uh, with the Reiki and energy healings, you can understand more about your own energy in the moment. You can understand yeah. about your chakras. And I think with graphology analysis, you will be able to understand much more deeper hidden aspects of yourself, which uh, yeah. Mansi can definitely help you and uh, guide you with how to really take things and understand your part. And the, yeah. and the best part, which I really loved, Mansi, that you mentioned is that during the uh, marriage aspects when people are yeah. really looking out if there is a compatibility between the bride and the groom yeah, doing the yeah. graphology will definitely help you to understand what is the current present situation that's really wonderful so any of the listeners who are uh, here looking for any yeah. marriage compatibility things you have Mansi mm -hmm. who can definitely help you and to that matter if you would really want to find more about yourself through your handwriting Mansi would definitely be able to take that forward and I'm really happy to know that Mansi it's a different thing part of the world to take yeah. you together correct, correct that's really that's really really nice so uh, so Mansi how do you uh, see that people who are now looking forward to kind of uh, signing mm -hmm. up for any of the Reiki sessions so if they are at that verge of whether should I sign up or should I not sign mm -hmm. up any thoughts that you would want to let the audience know that okay should they really sign up for any of those reiki sessions with me I, yeah i feel people should sign up you should not wait for your life to turn into a mess or things to go wrong to actually start the healings you can always you know be very positive in a good shape in your life and still uh, take up your course 
to you know gather more strength you should not always like you you know you always say that you don't wait to fall ill to go to the doctor take your monthly checkups or take your six monthly checkup blood groups and all be healthy any which ways so that's the same thing about you and your healings don't wait for things to go wrong just take up do some courses do connect with you to remain in that state at least if you are in a very good shape and you want to stay in a good shape at least then also you can do you should not always wait ki kab mere sab bura ho and then i can you know approach some person mm-hmm. that should not be the case so i feel that everyone should sign up go ahead and take up that healing so that meditations or simply should connect with you in some form or the other it will definitely help you in because uh, in the small small stresses that you have in your life small small challenges or small small problems or doubts they all will get cleared and you have a different path of life all together so i feel yeah everyone should get if uh, whether they are in a problem or not in a problem i feel they should sign up for wow. your course great that's really and nice mansi because one of the things that you mentioned is that you don't have to really wait for things to yeah. go bad for you but you can also right. use it to be in a preventive state or whatever you're doing you can take it forward to excel yourself yeah. correct because sessions. you don't know your hidden abilities or your hidden powers sometimes how abundant you can go or how right. far you can go you don't know that sometimes so you need someone you can unleash your powers or you can that person can amplify your powers so you need that one person so that's why i feel that everyone should get connected to you and start the journey so that if you are on 10 with you they can reach on 100 or not even 100 at least to 20 30 mm-hmm. okay. but you can understand how far you can go so it is Right, yeah right great so i'm really happy to uh, know about this month so that the way your journey has progressed from being like uh, in a state where everything was like going downwards for you from your mm-hmm. health perspective from your personal life from your professional perspective and within two months seeing this transformation because the day when uh, i had spoken to mansi the first uh, Uh, she had a lot of things going in her mind a lot of things uh, a lot of i think self doubts where she was wondering if this could really work or not work but the way she has implemented the process and within two months of time period she has been able to get out of all her self doubts and now able to also launch her own uh, uh, graphology uh, practices and within two weeks she has also been able to get the client so i see that mansi is moving in that positive direction taking that steps taking those things Uh, which has really really helped uh, her to take take those things forward for her own successful journey so okay. that's really awesome mansi to see that growth thanks thanks a lot punam as i always say it would have not been possible without you and your constant guidance and uh, more what i feel is more than a, a professional you are a human first mm-hmm. so that what helps everyone because you are not just that You know, there are many professionals who are very money-minded. They are, they just look and do a money angle. That I'm getting enough money, so I'm getting enough money. I'm giving it to the client. So there is no client and this relationship with you. It gets more personal. It gets more family type with you, and that what helps people to grow because you what whatever we sign up for, you give much more than that. Always, always. Thanks, Mansi. Yeah, without burdening the other person with anything. you give much more to that person and you're very helpful and very positive soul like thank you yeah. that's awesome uh, mansi to know that because as i said my motive and of thing is to help people grow in their journey yes. unleash their true potential so they can they can work towards their own passion because mm-hmm. that's something which is definitely going to help help them correct that's really nice so uh, mansi as a Uh, like i'm just getting a little conscious on the time but just as a sign of part of the thing what would you give the message to our audience as your three factors for success um i would say resilience first thing mm-hmm. and uh, second is if you are not in a position to take up your life ahead this trust brain trust on that one person who can help you out mm-hmm. and third i would say that if you are in any need shout ask for help go ahead ask for help people do come in to help you out just you have to be ready 
fully ready to take up that help and go ahead with that person. So I always feel that just uh, what you can start, uh, uh, get into it and uh, like behave those put go like. Just wow. go ahead with the whole flow. Yeah. Let that person take in charge of you. Don't keep that doubts and that inhibitions in your mind and all. Mm-hmm. Just give in. Give in to whatever it is. And you be resilient and, uh, you know, give your 100%. More than that. Give whatever you can. Just flow in. No, oh, that's awesome message, uh, Mansi. Because uh, resilience, giving your hundred percent, and trusting that one person that can really help you and support you, just go ahead and follow the processes, and you will start seeing the results. Right. And right. one of the key things about you, Mansi, is about being persistently following, consistently following, passionately doing yeah. the things, has really helped Mansi to be where she is. and one thing is that because we have our weekly connects uh, mm-hmm. and uh, i see mansi dedicatedly attending those weekly connects and picking up the learnings and right. is able to implement those things so that's one of the beautiful things about you mansi that you have that's decided awesome. to take things forward and the moment you have decided this you have found somebody who is training you on all of these things Got you it. have found alchemists and working with you and you have Got now it. been able to take that forward so i'm Got i'm it. really happy mansi connecting with you today talking to you understanding how your journey has been what has Got really it. helped you so to my viewers and to the audience and to the listeners so uh, i would be sharing the link in the comment section when i share this video about how you can reach out to mansi Uh, on the graphology so if you are interested just go ahead and sign up the course with her and at the same time i would also share the links of uh, my pages where you will understand what are the upcoming trainings and sessions so if you are interested to go ahead and find your passion just like the way mansi has found her passion and implementing and getting results if you are interested to go ahead and find your passions do follow me and register for the courses so Thank you everyone. Thanks Mansi and it's thanks, nice thanks talking to you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.